Hi. I, I, I wanted to start Advent of Code again and have 15 minutes right now. So maybe maybe we will uh, try to solve the first task. I hope it's simple. I hope um, probably not, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so let's uh, ch ch start by... Um, we need the end of code. Okay, now we want to open it in Sublime. And uh, end of code. Okay, we need. Um, actually, you know what we need? We need maybe Depths Eden. Yes. Okay, so we need that, we don't need that. Uh, we also need basically an apple like this. That's all we need. Depths not hidden. Well, uh, yes. Um, oh no, oh no. I, I said it to the wrong place. Um, that's bad. That's not bad. Okay. Let's save it here. Okay, so we have this. We need a folder called src, and we need a folder called script. And script, yeah, it wrote this one. I uh, will fix it. It should be somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> um, no, okay, so we probably need another example. Let's look at data script. And we have variable here. Yeah, this is the line that I've been looking for. So we want um, winbash. Um, it's also good practice to do. Well, this is a good practice, so we certainly want to do that. And another one. I don't do it anywhere in here. Yeah, but basically this one, right? Um, and repl slash. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see if we can start it. Six. Yeah, 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 because we don't need any aliases at all. Um, boom, we started. Okay, and now I've been using my Sublime Closure, of course. So let's start by saying um, new folder at the end of code. Um, new file, and this will be the one CLG, right? The NES and Vint of Code 2021, day one. We probably will need require stuff like closure string, string, closure. Java IO as IO, closure set, maybe, uh, I'm not sure, sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't, but just to be safe. Okay, uh, let's see if we can evaluate it, uh, great, we can, um, let's also create the mine fa function, and maybe call it here, okay, let's see. Let's see, it does nothing, but if it would, okay, uh, that's all we need, that's all the stuff we need right now, uh, actually, you know what, it should be renamed to, to this one, to this, okay, yes, yes, still works, cool, perfect, um, and we still have few minutes, right? Yeah, let's try. Let's try and see if you can figure it out. Okay. You're minding your own business on the ship at sea when the overboard alarm is off. You're still blah, blah.
okay yeah we need uh, this uh, let's save it here it seems like a very simple task right so let's create a folder called data uh, this will be called the one dot in okay and it pre seems pretty s self pretty easy okay so we so x s is so what we do is we slurp data slash uh, the one dot in then we do there's like line seek or something like that yeah reader oh, okay line seek reader okay so uh, it will be with open um reader reader eo reader eo file like this okay um, this will be line seek reader we want to map it with a long parse long basically yeah we want it here let's just uh, make sure that it works uh, let's see stream closed okay yeah uh, we probably need it like this yes we get the depths right now we need to basically see how many times it decreases uh, which is very simple to do um, we zip first with um, so what we do is we do this is what we do we map xs and next xs right and this function will be minus um, first minus second something like this i i feel it's something like this 1233 let's see that's the right answer wow <laughs> yeah that was simple okay the next one is probably harder Consider every single measurement isn't as useful as expected. There is just too much noise in the data. Instead, consider some sort of tree measurement sliding window. And can consider the above example. Blah, 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 blah. Um, start by comparing the first and second three measurement windows. The measurement in the first window are marked A. Wait, is it different? And uh, there's some is uh, this can be as B and some the sum of measurement in the second window is larger than the sum of the first. And the source comparison increases. Uh, this is simple, right? So for each number we need to build the sum um okay let's go it part one part one and then we call part two which will be slightly different and just i don't like things to be ugly uh so part two will do the same but we kind of like want this right and we want sum so this is the sum and number of times the sum measurement in this line window increases okay so this is uh like our windows 
is like this, right? And then we take uh, something like this. 766, is it right? That's not, not the right answer, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this should be right, but like number the sum of the measurement increases. So yeah, we, we still need to do neck, I think. Wait, what? Oh, because I'm doing wrong this way. 1275. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I have uh, to wait, uh, but let's figure out. The number increases, it means that first sum is smaller than the second sum, right? Right, I think. That's the right answer. Hey, we solved it. Uh, it, was, it was fast. Um, but probably the following uh, tasks will be let's also make well we don't, don't need main really not really uh, but this was it yeah I'm glad we solved it we can even do this I think A little refactoring. Um, yeah, it works. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, join me tomorrow. Bye.